Hello my fellow Americans, this is H.J. Armstrong speaking, citizen, scholar, saint. Today, I am taking a break from my serious scholarly endeavors to provide commentary on the well-known YouTube creator, Jared Genesis aka Alpha Genesis aka Jared Juggernaut. Over the last decade or so, Jared has been one of the most discussed and most mocked content creators on the internet. He is famous for unstructured shirtless rants, rank hypocrisy, and the kinds of sexual proclivities that even thieves and murderers find offensive. Jared's perceived lack of character and ability have led many observers to give up on him and assume that he will never be able to make anything of himself. At the time of recording, Jared is 37 or 38 years old, so the clock is ticking. That being said, perhaps because I am a businessman at heart, I prefer to look on the sunny side of life. When I look at Jared, I see someone who failed to launch. It is not necessarily that he lacks talent, it is that he does not know how to put his talent to use. In this video, I will analyze Jared's strengths and weaknesses and lay out a roadmap to success. In my view, Jared has what it takes to turn things around and have a successful career as an entertainer. Before we proceed any further, I feel the need to clarify two quick points. First, my advocacy for Mr. Acock finally having a career breakout should not be confused for me in any way endorsing or sharing some of the views that he has espoused over the years. I refer, of course, to his notorious statement where he said that he saw no issue with dating an eight-year-old. What I will propose is that since Jared clearly cannot get around the fact that much of his infamy derives from this belief, he needs to work with it in his public image rather than working around it. This will, naturally, limit his options and necessitate that he be kept at a great distance from minors. The second disclaimer that I need to make is that while I think that what I am about to offer is sound advice, it will be up to Jared to make this happen. Sadly, one of Jared's biggest failings is that his work ethic is rather anemic and he doesn't have much follow-through. Accordingly, the advice that I am going to give here is tailored to what Jared Genesis can reasonably accomplish within what I perceive to be Jared's limitations. This will be a call for Jared to achieve the most that he can achieve starting now in 2024 without much reference to what he could have achieved if he had had his ducks in a row 10 or 20 years ago. Now, let us move forward and help Jared become the real man that he so famously claimed to be when he was screaming at his elderly father. Let us consider what talents Jared already has and figure out what he can and cannot do with them. Jared earned widespread ridicule when he declared himself to be a black belt in martial arts. After all, he has never been a member of a dojo and his one visit to Jason David Frank's karate studio did not go well. However, if you study his moves, you will see that his baekwon is actually quite competent. Despite the unorthodox nature of how he acquired his skills by watching YouTube tutorials, Jared's skills are still real. The moves that he does are fundamentally sound. For a long time, Jared's dream was to become an MMA fighter. This was not something that he pursued with terrible seriousness and he bailed on that dream when he decided that his path was going to be bodybuilding. At this late date, Jared will not be able to plausibly compete as a mixed martial artist. CM Punk at a similar age tried to compete and it went rather poorly. Punk, of course, was a more dedicated student of the craft than Jared. Age is also a problem, as fighting is very much a young man's game. Reaction times slow with age and most fighters find that their careers are effectively over by the time they reach their mid to late thirties. Jared's decision to try something different was probably wise given this reality. As for his bodybuilding efforts, the results are quite evident. He does not have the build to become a Grecian statue. That being said, he could and should build up his arms to be impressive. Jared could plausibly get his arms big, but most likely will never be able to drop the belly. Once again, my advice is that rather than idly dreaming of what could be or might have been, Jared should embrace what is and move on. I think that he could add muscle and power to his arms and shoulders, so he just focus on that and acquiring basic cardio. When it comes to the cause of his defeat at the Green Rangers dojo, the real problem is that while Jared has solid baekwon technique, 
his conditioning is rather poor. Again, he should just focus on upper body strength and building his endurance without being so vain about the look. All of this fitness advice is within the realm of the achievable, can help to give some legitimacy to his new direction as a fitness channel, and play a major part in helping him build his fame. Speaking of Jared's channel, over the years, he has experimented with a number of different directions. He has done rants, reactions, talked about pop culture, focused on bodybuilding, and, as previously mentioned, fitness. However, one of the more interesting avenues that he has taken has been when he has attempted to run a gaming channel. Many of Jared's detractors, such as the drunken peasants, have mocked his efforts at gaming and discussing some topics on the grounds that he doesn't know anything about the topic. Personally, I could not disagree more. The entertainment value in seeing Jared game is precisely that his struggles to figure out his setup and to advance beyond the first level is what makes his gaming content unique. No one else can claim to be a huge fan of something and then suck at it. This content is also relatable, since we all have areas of weakness. Most of us have the self-awareness not to post such things online, but the glory of Jared is that he fearlessly shares this footage with the world. Jared should never stop posting gaming footage and he should also avoid making any major improvements to his setup. This content has its own charm and it can be integrated into the career trajectory that I am envisioning for him. Jared's first best destiny, combining his talents for martial arts, talking trash about others, and making bad gaming content, is for him to become a professional wrestler. Jared's Baekwon moves look powerful and relatively smooth, but because it would break up the normal momentum of the match, it would create a unique vibe, giving Jared Juggernaut matches a different feel than the bouts of others. He would be less Rob Van Dam and more Steven Seagal, but that can work. A number of modern wrestlers stream themselves gaming or have matches with a video game theme. Kenny Omega is a great example, as he is well-known fan of Final Fantasy VII and appears in a Sega game about samurai warriors. Jared will probably not be sponsored in any game simply because of the views that he is associated with, but he can still show himself playing old video games badly or start feuds with fellow gamers by critiquing their work from his room. In fact, he should do all of his promo work from his bedroom, as that is the perfect setting. Jared's career on YouTube has proven that while he is impossible to love, it is easy to hate him. Thus, I propose that Jared Juggernaut be a wrestling heel. His physique is odd-looking, but he has enough agility and grace to pull off basic moves and take bumps. He can also wrestle in the less athletic heel style, relying on cheap shots, steel chairs, and low blows. Jared has a natural genius for generating heat that most wrestling heels would kill for. All he has to do is talk into a mic and express his opinions in order to make people eager to see him get put through a table. Having Jared trash talk the gimmicks and bodies of other wrestlers and then having them clap back would be comedy gold. While Jared is not a gifted speaker, he is willing to embarrass himself in ways that most people would not dare imagine. He can be used for a number of otherwise unthinkable angles. Jared could create enough heat to sell the audience on any number of other people being fellow heels, so Jared could potentially help to catapult actual talents to the top of the card. I can envision Jared trying to critique a foreign wrestler by invoking his Christian values and faith, only for it to become clear that he doesn't know anything about Christianity. Jared would then smugly laugh off the rebuttal and this would build up his heat even more and make it that much more satisfying when he got beat. Jared's limited acting skills could actually work brilliantly if he were to do an angle where he pretends to be trans so that he can wrestle in the women's division. He would generate enormous heat by defeating much smaller women and create brilliant comedy when he loses, comes up with an outlandish excuse for his failure, and tries to pretend that it didn't happen. Finally, as a one-time big payday event, someone could play some of the infamous footage of Jared expressing his views and this could generate nuclear heat. Most likely, this would be on the independent scene. Promoters could then charge top dollar to see Jared the menace to children get completely and totally dismantled by a babyface. I don't envision a long career for Jared, 
but if he could work for just a few years and have a couple of decent paydays, he could establish enough fame to coast on outside of the ring by continuing to just make the same kinds of videos he is famous for. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with this career path for Jared and please let the man himself know about this. I genuinely want to see him turn his life around and escape his parents' basement. Professional wrestling is his best option and I firmly believe that he has what it takes to succeed.